So I guess what are, are some of your goals, hopes, and expectations for the 2014-15 basketball season? You know, hopes and expectations are just to grow, to grow as a team. Um, we're still a very young team, so every day is a new day, and to watch them grow and, um, again, you know, achieve, and I think everybody else is to achieve that, that moment when you can get to the, NC, the NEC championship game. Um, and that really is our, our goal for this year. With having a younger team, um, is it difficult as a coach to get them to like get on the system and stuff like that, or do you feel like this team has a good concept of what they're doing so far? They have a great concept of what they're doing. They're self-motivated. Uh, they they share the same goals. They share the same passion. So it's it's very enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun right now. Uh, for those who maybe haven't seen your program yet, who are some of the players to watch for, and who are some of the players to uh, come out and catch in person? Well, obviously, we have a we have a tremendous senior, you know, Ugo. And uh, we have a, two all-conference players, you know, a Jasmine Nwaje, who's a sophomore, and a Jordan uh, um, Pekka, a junior. And um, we have a lot of young freshmen, and we have a lot of great sophomore and freshman players um, who, again, surround them and, uh, and have uh, really stepped up their roles this year. As a coach, um, with the, especially with a new team, are you tempted to try anything new system-wise, play calling-wise, or do you like what you're doing in terms of calling plays? And right now, everything we do is defense-related. So, again, we, we focus on our defense, creating our offense. So, um, you know, it's really just about heart and hustle. And we focus on that, and we move from that forward. Well, it's trust. It's built-in trust. It allows you to get out and to, to take risks and take chances, and and do a little bit more, a little bit extra, just because you know you have someone in the background making sure that they got your back, and they got your back big time. <laughs> so it's it's enjoyable. The kids enjoy playing with their guy. And um, is there anything that you know you and the team were able to do during the off season to build up that team chemistry and team trust, or is it basically the process starting? Um, we we spend time really getting to know each other. Um, we talk about that everybody's different to accept their differences you know and to kind of come together and uh, we spent a lot of time just really getting to know it's like a, a new family you know and you have new their newest members really getting to know them and understand them and and uh, I feel that if you can understand them and know where they're coming from off the court once you get on the court it's you know it's a build in trust with the new players I know it's hard but what do you I guess expecting protecting for them to do when it comes time for game time? You know, I, I just expect that effort and energy and to be willing to listen because it is all new. Everything's new. Just being on your own is new. So they've done a great job. Um, again, our sophomore and junior and senior class have just done a great, great job of leading. And, um, you know, year three, it's a little bit easier because they know your system, they understand what to expect. So it's been a lot easier this year. As a coach, I guess, is there anything that you can do to help those freshman players get adjusted to the Wagner, I guess, living and style of, uh, or is it just more just letting them do their thing? You got to live and learn. You got to let them live and learn. You got to be there. They're, they're going to they're gonna fall down and get back up and, you know, just hope that they don't fall down again. So um, they're doing a great job. And again, you know, the three freshmen that we came in as well as the other class are all local. So there's plenty of time to go home so that they don't feel that they're too far away. So it was a great, it's a great situation for them. Being at a mid-major school, like, I know it's probably as hard recruiting. So how do you find somebody that not only fits your system but will help, you, you know, feel contribute to the team? Well, I mean, we're, we're in New York. So, you know, they, this is where some of the best basketball comes from. So there's a lot of options. But really, it's just about the kid. It's about the person. You know, um, we're a very family-oriented program. And, um, you know, it's, it's about finding that right person who really – has this, those same intangibles, um, and they're important to them, you know. And uh, we, we've done a really good job the last few years building that. So it's again, it's just a lot of fun right now. Do you think? Because I know there've been a lot of NEC schools that have been through that process of rebuilding and then getting themselves to a successful mm -hmm. year. Um, with this core group that you have right now, do you think that eventually this could be the group that could get your team to that point to where you know you could be playing competitive basketball? This is the group. This is definitely the group. And uh, every day we walk on the court, we feel it. And uh, we're not sure exactly when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. And any message for the fans at home watching this? Just to get them to come on out and just support? You know, it's, um, if you thought we were good last year, we got a lot of surprises this year. So it's going to be fun and exciting. So. Thank you very much. No problem.